course, a kitty cat wants to come in as soon as I start to record and he wants to be pet. So this is the third <laughs> reading I'm going to do on the John Edward video from the Kyle and Jackie O show. If you haven't yet watched the other two videos, you can find their, you can find them in the description of this video. If you look underneath and I should let you know that this video, the, the reading I'm going to do right now is a two minute reading. So it's going to take me about 15, 20 minutes to get all the way through it. That's just the way it is. Maybe, maybe less. We'll see. I don't want to talk super fast. Um, if you want to listen to the video and the reading I'm about to analyze before I uh, talk about it and break it down, then go ahead and look in the description of the show notes and you will I'm sure this, the description of the video and you're going to see um, a link to the video that I'm analyzing and you're going to see it um, starting right at the at the spot where we talk to Roland. So this video is at least two years old, um, uh, three years old, I'm sorry. It looks like it's from 2020. It must be fairly early 2020 because uh, they're really pushing his, John Edwards' Ticketmaster to go see him live at uh, some place in Australia. And um, it's hard for me to use my mouth because my cat sees my hand. He wants me to pet him. So <laughs> I want to point out right away first <laughs> oh my gosh love me love these cats um that during the COVID outbreak the the lockdowns uh psychic medium john edward didn't predict it now he spends at least two he's over in australia at least twice a year and does a tour and he's just that's his thing he does it all the time and you can see from the screenshot that i took from Ticketmaster, which they're pushing on this channel that um, August through November, everything had to be canceled. Uh, he puts a new date. He doesn't put the date, but he says new date um, on this screenshot on here. And I think, I know Teresa Caputo would schedule, put a new date and then get to that date and realize she had to change it and move it to another date. So I'm just kind of perplexed why John Edward one of the best psychics in the world, living psychics, didn't know that COVID was going to disrupt not only the entire world and kill millions of people, but disrupt his schedule. So I don't know why he didn't like say, hmm, I don't see myself going to Australia this year because there's going to be some disruption in the world or something like that. I don't know, but this is evidence that he didn't predict it. And actually, no psychic predicted because I went through all the social media and all the websites of all the prominent um, psychics that um, would be on tour or and some of them I even found were on vacation during COVID lockdowns for some reason they planned a vacation during that time you would think they would have noticed but guess not okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, play this video and I'm going to interrupt it and I'm going to give you my analysis and as I said it's a two minute reading um, there's a lot of things I would like to point out, but, um, as I go through, hopefully I'll get there. But one of the things I want to make sure everybody understands is the burden of proof is not on the, on the skeptic, right? This is an extraordinary claim that he is making that he can communicate with the dead and he's offering no evidence of it. It would take extraordinary evidence for it, but there's nothing here. So now this, t this radio show is called the Kyle and Jackie O's show. I'd never heard of them really before. Um, they are totally credulous as to John Edward, and they are absolutely buying into this hook, line, and sinker. The video that I just uh, filmed a couple days ago, the second one, um, they even have the woman tearing up. So no, uh, please do not be um, upset, or not upset, Please do not blame the the uh, victim, or I should say, the sitter in this case. They are they are a victim of this for whatever reason, and we could go into depth of that some other day. But um, you know, they're willfully ignorant because the evidence for John Edward and how he's doing what he's doing is out there. It's been out there for decades. So, you know, if you don't choose to look at it and you want to continue believing 
then it's a belief system, right? So it's, that's what it is. So I'll stop and start and stop and start. I hope that doesn't bug you too much. Um, please keep an eye on um, what is missing and not just what's in the video. And if you find something that I missed, please put it in the comments of the YouTube video because I really want to know what, what you think of this. And <laughs> be honest with me what you think because I think, I think this is fun to do. So let's see if we can we can do this. I've had already a lot of great comments of people saying that now they understand how it appears that he looks like he's communicating with the dead. And if you read the comments under the video, you can see these people are totally, most people are totally buying it, that it's amazing what they think. Okay. Let's go to the next screen. La la la. Maybe we won't get interrupted by kitty cat. Let's see. I've only watched this one time. So I've got a few notes here just to keep things going so that we can keep it up. A couple of things. Um, the month yeah. of August, they're showing me the- oh, Let me back it up a little bit. I guess I didn't get exactly right. So the person who's calling in, his name is Roland. Um, you can tell from his voice, he's Australian. He's probably, I don't know, maybe in his thirties. It's hard to say, um, but he's not young, young, and he's not, old old so <laughs> somewhere in there um psychics really do use that information to be able to judge where they're going to start with because they want to know um, is it likely i'm going to get a grandfather who's died or is it more likely i'm going to get a parent that's died that kind of thing and you know if they probably have young children at home they'll steer it that way now listen to how john edward is just like throwing a lot of stuff out here the screener knows who's going to be up next the screener knows what it is they want to be in touch with who it is they want to be in touch with that's already known the hosts of the show have already revealed it on the last video i did that they know ahead of time so now whether john edward knows or not i don't know um but pay attention paul that would love to hopefully connect with someone on the other side roland hello hello how are you going jack hello good here with john good, edward hi roland how are you how are you Good, mate. Good. Um, Roland, before I jump in, can I just say a couple of things? Um, the month yeah. of August, they're showing me. They show me the number eight. So for me, the month of August means the eighth, eighth month or the eighth of a month being birthday or anniversary. And Roland, is there a person that passed from like breast or lung cancer connected to you? Um, breast or lung. Um, who are you hoping? To, who are you hoping to hear from? Uh, my dad, but it was quite some time ago. Okay, but, so it um, th doesn't matter, by the way. Anybody who has crossed over yeah. can come through. It doesn't yeah, matter yeah, if it's yeah. a, a year or, or 40, as long as you can validate it. But I have somebody yeah. who's coming through from breast or lung cancer. Um, okay, so let's stop really quick and just kind of break this down in little bits because it's hard to remember. Remember, this is a very emotional time. The person has been on hold for a while. He's very excited about seeing John Edward. This is the world-famous John Edward and has been doing this for decades and he is smooth he's very smooth so he's already a little bit like wow okay so this is really interesting because i have not listened to this whole video i'm listening to each segment once taking notes recording a, a, a video for you as a response so i may pick up on a lot of things i may miss a lot of things it's it's i don't know one of the things in the very first video I did, which is the first caller on this, this um, Kyle and Jackie O show, is he said the month of March. Does that mean anything to you? I'm getting the number three. The number three means the month of March. Okay. In this case, he did exactly the same thing. I'm getting the number eight, which is a month of August. Does that mean anything to you, to you? On the first video, I mentioned March has 31 days in it. And I thought to myself, I wonder if he's going to, whenever he mentions months, months, he always picks months with 31 days just to play the odds to have one or two more days to play with, more likely to have chances that something's going to hit. Well, he did. So here's March, and April, I mean, in August. August has 31 days in it. So I find that really interesting. Also, I find it interesting as he says the number and he's, I don't know why eight would automatically mean August to you because eight has a lot of. You can use eight in a lot of ways. So I don't know if he uses, I haven't watched enough of his videos to know if this is typical for him to always associate the number eight with the month of August, or if he sometimes separates August out and sometimes separates the number eight to mean eight, 
like eight things or eight objects or the number eight on something. I don't know just yet, but pay attention to that. Um, and what does that mean? The month of August, it means something to you? Well, well, it's a month of the year. So I'm sure there's a lot of things that have been, do they not have August in, in uh, Australia? I mean, it just, it's just a silly kind of thing to say. But no, he's doing this on purpose because this is how John Edward uh, does these things. And I'm seeing breast or lung cancer. And the guy says, no. A little bit later, he's going to come up with somebody. Because remember, the sitter is trying really hard to validate whatever it is that the psychic says because he does. He knows it's tenuous. He knows that he has to give a little bit in order to make the connection. So if John Edward starts feeling like Oh, I'm getting a lot of negatives. I'm getting a lot of negatives. I'm getting a lot of negative. Well, the call's over. So the sitter is has is highly motivated to make it fit. So they're usually going to try everything they possibly can to make the connection, especially whenever you're talking about this wide range of things that you could connect to. I mean, does the month of August mean anything to you? Does... <laughs> Does breast or lung cancer, which is some of the most common forms of cancer, right? Some of the most common causes of death. And he didn't necessarily say death, I don't think. Um, remember, I've only listened to this one other time than this. I don't remember him saying death. I heard him say, does it mean anything to you? In other words, I mean, I personally have had uh, breast cancer and I'm, I'm fine now, but I have had breast cancer. I didn't die from it, obviously, but you know, I have had it and my aunt has had it and um, other people have had cancer in my family too. So, I mean, you know, you can relate to it in a lot of different ways. They don't have to die from it. It's, it's, what do you mean? So let's go. He's going to ask him about his dad. He says his dad died some time ago. So uh, let's see what he does with that. I'm, I'm curious what he's going to do next. They're making me feel like the month of August is connected. They're showing me breast or lung cancer. They're telling me to talk about three people being in a family. So that means somebody's one of three kids, not normally like mom, dad, and a child. So somebody's one of three kids. And then I have a dog who, who's barking. So somebody lost their dog. <laughs> yeah, I, we did. I did, yeah. Okay, R Roland, yeah. is there um is there a, a reference to, again, they show me blackness in the chest. So that to me is somebody who had breast cancer, lung cancer. Um, yeah, I think my dad's sister did, yeah. And then, um, can I ask you if somebody, uh, I, I, there's no, I'm going to say it the way that I normally would see this if I was doing a regular private reading. Um, did somebody find out that they were adopted or did somebody find out that the, the person that they thought was their mom or dad was not their mom or dad around you? Mm, no, not that I, I think so. So uh, they're showing me somebody's raised by someone who's not their biological parent. They're showing me somebody like a grandmother raises a grandchild or um, a mom raises the niece. Like there's that kind of a vibe in your family, Roland. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct? Was, yes. Okay. Yep. Just want to make sure. So I don't know who the person is. Okay. Back again. So this is happening really fast. And this reading is about to end. There's a very good reason this reading is about to end. And it's because the uh, the the sitter is not making connections. They're not going the extra mile to make these things fit. He's very like, well, I don't, I don't really know. Maybe it does. Um, you know, I don't want to say that these people are lying, the sitters. I'm saying that they are willing to be creative with their answers to stretch the truth, to make it fit as best as they can to remember as much as they possibly can to make it the reading continue. So I don't think the sitters are lying. I think they're absolutely genuine in believing that this man is communicating with their dead family members, but we know it's not an exact science. And I, I keep saying that, but because there is no science in it at all, but it's their way of um, trying to help john edward out they want to help him okay so let's look at some of this stuff he goes back to the blackness and chest that's his way whatever that means that's my way whatever it's my way or that means nothing so 
the sitter tries to make it fit. He says, I think it was my dad's sister. He doesn't know. I think it was my aunt. Dad's been gone a long time. So, you know, we don't know. He might not have a really good connection with his, his um, aunt. We don't know. And it, again, it didn't say dead or not dead. It just said it's a connection. Well, I have a connection. What if they work in the field? Do they work in a rest home that has a lot of people who, do they work in an oncology office? Do they have an, uh, do they, I mean, do they study oncology? I, I don't know. What do you mean a connection to? Okay, well, whatever. It's just a bigger area than you think. Dog barking. Do you think an adult man living in Australia has ever had a dog in his life or in his family or a close dog? You know, like you see it regularly and there was a dog, whether you're terrified of it or you love it to pieces, but there's a dog that has died. Really? These are like, these are like cold reading tropes. This is like, if you had a book on cold reading and there are books out there on cold reading, trust me, there are many books on cold reading. It's like John Edward is opening up the books and pointing at a trope of cold reading. Any minute now, and I don't think he's going to do it right now, but maybe lo longer in this video, he's going to start th talking about coins. And then I know he's gone full on gold reading because that's like another trope. There's so many things that are tropes. And this is one of them. Dog barking. He never comes back to that, right? The dog guy's like, yeah, well, yeah, there was a dog. Uh, three children. He mentioned that in another um, earlier uh, reading he did he said two children which is the standard for australian um, birth is usually two children for the last few decades i looked that up and but three children he just he just skated right over it so i mean john edward either is just like vomiting out these statements not even thinking about what he's saying because it's just a thing he always does or he um is in using it to say make time so he comes to something else where it's a little more seems factual or he's hoping the guy's going to just hit on it so the more stuff he throws out there the more chances the sitter has to to uh, make a hit like the sitter could i guess say oh yes there are three of us sitter didn't say anything so what does that mean there are three children i know people who have three children in the family i'm one of three what about it <laughs> Blackness and chest. He thinks this is his sister. Now he's going into adoption. The guy says, no. Is there anybody in the family that's been adopted? No. It's somebody they didn't know that it was their family member. They like they realized later that they found out that their their parent wasn't their parent. You know, biological parent wasn't. It, it is not their biological parent. No. The answer is no. And then he's going to go into some nonsense about step um um raised by grandmother or whatever and let's see what he has to say listen to this this is what the breast lung can cancer is if that's your your aunt then it's it's her way of 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 stepping forward but um are you getting ready for a job change are you changing your jobs or something uh not not um could be next year, yes. Okay. Yes. I think it might be sooner than you're planning. Well, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so congratulations okay. and good luck, Roland. Thanks, Roland. Right, Appreciate okay. it. Well, okay. Thanks. Thank you. Penny's also called through. Hi, Penny. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna go to Penny right yet, but uh you can tell this guy's at work. You can hear or somewhere near where there's work, you can hear a, like something backing up, a forklift backing up or a truck backing up the sound of the beeping. Poor guy. He got a two minute reading. So how did he do? You're going to be changing jobs? What's the likelihood of that? Again, is John ever going to be around in a year whenever this happens so the guy can say, hey, I didn't end up changing jobs? No, we have no way of knowing. It's just something you say. It doesn't mean anything. And uh, Roland, the sitter, was kind of like, well, yeah, my grandmother could have raised a niece or something, some vague kind of, well, maybe that fits. So we got, what do we got here? We got, do we got any, do we got any hits? August is a month. 
um, the aunt, if if it's the aunt, that's her way of coming forward. What is what does that mean? It means nothing. Um, nobody was adopted. No, that he knows of. That he no no. I mean that could be a step parent. It got down to the point where John was willing to take a step parent for the statement that he first started out with. Is there somebody in your family who did who found out that they were adopted and they didn't know they were adopted? Or that they found out that their parent was not their parent and they'd always thought it was their biological parent. So that came all the way down to could grandma have been raising her grandchild or a aunt raising her niece? I mean, that he John ever was really reaching. He didn't hit anything. So we got nothing. I'm not seeing anything on here. Everything was not right. So it was a big, giant, zero, zippo, zip, zippa, 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 zuzu. It was awful. So that was a fail. Too bad, John. Okay, what did he miss? So I might have missed some things, obviously, in the reading. And I'm hoping to hear from you guys your comments and see what you think that I might have missed. But what did John Edward miss besides making these bold statements that didn't actually um, go anywhere? What did he miss? The guy wanted to talk to his dad, right? Did he ever talk to his dad? He says, no problem. He's been gone a long time. No problem. I can do that if you can validate it. He never talked to his dad. Did he talk to his dad? I didn't catch it. I didn't catch him talking to his dad. Um, there was a dog barking. <laughs> Maybe that's why he couldn't talk to his dad. Uh, the dog was distracting his dad. The dad was playing with the dog. I mean, it gets really silly when you start thinking about this, right? Okay, I'll try not to be snarky. Um, he didn't get anybody's name. He didn't do one of his, I'm getting a J name or M name or who's Michael. He didn't do that. Um, I think because John knew he was, he was just failing. This guy wasn't willing to go along with him and it was just a miss. So John wants to move to somebody else. Possibly, maybe the next one, her name is Penny. Maybe Penny will be a little more willing to go along with him. He didn't know, he didn't know anything. He didn't, he didn't get his father. He didn't get anybody's name. He didn't know what kind of occupation the guy was in. He didn't know what kind of occupation he was going to go to. And it, it, again, it gets to this problem of what is the harm in this? Oh, it seems frivolous and fun and wonderful, but it's not. So now this man has got in the back of his mind that he's going to have to change his job, that he's going to change his job. And congratulations, it's going to be a great change. What if it's not a great change? What if whenever this guy says, you know, I should probably be changing my job, he makes that change and it turns out to be a really bad change. But he did it because he thinks John told him that it's got to, you got to change it. It's going to be really great. So, you know, John Edward doesn't have all the facts. He's just making this up, right? Just his years of experience of doing uh, cold readings. He's just throwing out general statements and this guy believes him. So they're going to take their advice. And when they do this kind of thing, it's, it's, dangerous because not only are you playing with somebody's emotions but you're also playing with their with their life decisions john doesn't know if this is a good decision for him to change his job in the future it's just not it's not right it's not right for him to be making these decisions for other people and going back to um what was it i was thinking about the 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 right on ahead see how fast it happens you just listen to it if you're in this situation you're listening to this very emotional reading and you're very very much believe it's happening it just goes shroom right past you all of the hits i mean you're not taking notes or anything like that so you don't you don't see it the way they do so in the comments you can read the comments under this video people were saying oh my gosh he got it right he said that guy you know he said this person was going to do this and in the last video, he says, um, John knew the name of the brother and John knew their anniversary was in March and John knew. And I'm like, John didn't say any of those things. John said, what is March? Is there an anniversary or birthday in it? And the way we remember it later is to come out with this information that's not true. But anyway, 
So I'm going to look at this and see if I can do a couple more today. I have my Australian drop bear shirt on, Australian skeptics drop bear. Uh, right to you, um, Australian skeptics. I love you guys. But um, let's see. Leave me comments in the in the in the underneath the video because I really want to hear what you guys think of this.